Hi, let's take a look at Johnny Quest number two from uh, Dynamite Comics. Uh, Dynamite has been doing the action-oriented Hanna-Barbera stuff. They have Space Ghost. I hope they, they have other characters from the 60s before uh, things got goofy with um, Scooby-Doo and all that stuff. I mean, Scooby-Doo is great too, but, um, but yeah, Johnny Quest... Um, uh, tells the tale of uh, Johnny Quest and Reese Bannon and 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 um and and Johnny's father and uh, Haji uh, Johnny's friend, um all going on adventures. But in these issues, um Johnny is now in the far flung future of 2024, uh, and uh, and meets himself uh, as uh, a 70 something year old man, um which was intriguing when the, they introduce that concept in issue one uh, where they're on the island but the island is is all messed up like their their big island headquarters and stuff um there's drones that are attacking them and they're slowly um unraveling what's happening in uh 2024 um johnny of course has all of the uh technology of today and um and they trace their woes to an arch nemesis who who owns a big like technology um firm and um and race and and uh and um mr quest are are, are all stunned by this this new future it's kind of a neat idea now uh, obviously this was the the hot take that um got them into this um this series you know um at one point they go to india and there's um there's a sort of like rotoscope quality to the background here where yeah, I guess they, they drew over an actual um, uh, photograph landscape. And uh, um, of course, they, they meet the, the future or present for us, uh, Haji, which is uh, pretty uh, neat. Um, and probably Haji's son, uh, it, it looks like at one point. Um, and there's a, a classic villain behind the scenes. Um, orchestrating everything and, and, and wanting to um, trap the 1960s uh, Johnny Quest. Uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, I like this a lot. I mean, Johnny Quest isn't really something I grew up with. It was uh, way before my time, but I knew of it. They had a 1980s cartoon, um, which was okay. Uh, but I was like, oh, what's the big fuss, right? But when I finally saw the 60s cartoon on like YTV or something, um, I was stunned because... A lot of the violence and, you know, maturish themes, um, or even just the, the go for bro quality of the, the action, um, was phased out by the time I was a kid. Like in G.I. Joe, when a plane would blow up, there was always a, a parachuted pilot, you know, coming out of it and stuff. But here, like, something blows up and no one comes out of it, you know, in the, in the old 60s cartoon. Or like, you know, a tunnel crumbles on people. And they, they never come out of it. And it's like, oh, I guess they're dead. I, <laughs> you know, um, and Johnny Quest seemed more uh, mature as a result, like those old 60s ones. And then there was a 90s one where they're in like a virtual reality world. Everything is a virtual reality at that point. Um, I, I distinctly remember not liking that. And knowing that um, it came from a classic uh, idea and I wanted just like more of the adventures of the 60s show. Um, and I thought this when I was like 14. Um, so I enjoy that there's a new Johnny Quest comic. I don't know when the last time they did Johnny Quest as a comic was uh, before this. Um, it's a pretty neat idea to do it. And you can do a lot of like action adventure stuff uh, with this. And none of this like cartoony stuff because that's not really what um, Hanna-Barbera was doing in the 60s. They were doing more uh, pulp adventure animation um, you know, like Space Ghost was more uh, of a, like a DC comic at the time, but it, it wasn't a, I, they must have done a, um, a tie-in comic back then. Um, and this was more like a sort of a dog savage, like kid version, um, where he's fighting, um, typical super villains that are more like James Bond type villains or, um, or, um, uh, Fu Manchu-ish type villains. Um, but yeah, this really captures all of that. Um, here's the, the villain in this one. Pretty neat. This, that, that's the, uh, the tech company that they're talking about. Um, and, uh, and here's a bunch of, uh, nanites and things that are attacking them. Uh, so it's like our technology versus 
uh, Johnny Quest of the 1960s trapped in our time. Uh, I'm sure that um, it won't remain that way. I can't remember if this is a limited series or an ongoing series. If it's an ongoing series, I hope they do more stuff with, you know, classic adventures with Johnny Quest. Uh, anyways, um, I highly recommend Johnny Quest. It's pretty intriguing stuff, good science fiction stuff, um, and, uh, and retains the heart and soul of the original uh, 1960s um, cartoon. Uh, so if you like Johnny Quest pick this up man um and even if you don't like give this a try and maybe you'll you'll appreciate and, and, and enjoy the storytelling of it uh because it's pretty good stuff um did i do the credits for this do the credits and uh please uh remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i have a lot of great comic book stuff on here so until next time take care